Bill, it's great to have you on. Tough times, I know, but at least we're seeing around the corner a little optimism out there. Um, shoes, you need to touch them. You need to put them on your feet often to buy them. How does the world of selling footwear and running apparel look in the, quote, new normal? Good morning, Bryant, and thank you for having me on. Well, there's, uh, you know, we have uh, begun to open up across the country. Uh, we currently have 114 of our 131 stores open. And, uh, you know, the demand has been stronger than we expected. Um, and uh, we've taken, you know, all the precautions in our retail operations. And uh, so, so far, so good. And I think that, uh, you know, people, uh, our customers, the running health, wellness, um, and fitness, uh, all are very um, popular yeah. uh, right now. And, and so uh, I think we're in a very good space. I don't know if you heard our interview with Stacey Widlitz, a uh, retail consultant, a little bit earlier, Bill, but basically I asked her, I was like, the data is going to be really sloppy and ugly the next couple of months. Is there any way to gauge, you said the things have been good and that's great. We want to hear that. Is there any way to gauge how things might look six, nine, 12 months from now? Because there's no doubt going to be sort of a reopen pop as we all just go out because we can go back out. How do you foresee business six months out? We foresee it uh, continually um, growing. Uh, I think that uh, as capacity increases, I mean, that's our challenge today is, is how many people can come in the store. Uh, but uh, I think that in our particular channel of distribution with running fitness, I think we'll continue uh, to see growth in this category. So we're, we're cautiously optimistic. We're measuring uh, every day. Um, right now, uh, we're seeing a positive, a good trend. Uh, sales have been improving on a weekly basis. Uh, we are a strong omni-channel retailer as well. So our digital has had strong penetration throughout the whole COVID period. Um, and uh, so we're, we're cautiously optimistic today, six months from yeah. now, and a year from now. Are you, are you optimistic enough, Bill, to commit capital to opening new locations? You're, you're telling us about the locations that exist, but you're planning as a CEO six, nine, 12, 24, 36 months out. Are you willing to commit to continuing to expand, or do you got to sit on your capital and say, eh, Let's wait and see how things go. I think we'll wait and see how things go to be. Um, and uh, But if there is opportunity uh, in particular areas of the country where, where we feel uh, strongly, then we would pursue it. But I think not at this time. We'll continue to watch our trend, um, you know, make sure that we're, we're able to operate at an efficiency level to... Um, bring our people back. And uh, so I, I, I think we'll just wait and see how, how things go. But, but we're oh, always our, looking Bill, to it's, grow. It's, it, we, it's short time left in the interview. It's been a, it's been a debate about uh, extended unemployment benefits, stimulus, whatever side of the debate you're on. I mean, you, you know it. Are you, are you getting your employees back to work or are there people that are still choosing to stay home when they can? We've had about 75% of the people we've asked to come back, come back, and about 25% haven't. Um, so, but I must say, Brian, that uh, the 25% where we need people, uh, there are many applications for those positions. So uh, employment, uh, but we wanna bring our people back. Uh, and uh, we've, we've done a good job so far uh, to, yeah. to bring as many back as possible as fast as possible.